Hello everybody, Mike with Spray Jones. I'm showing you a video here that we took just recently of what I'd call a poor spray foam job. You know, many times you want to know what to look for on a bad job versus a good job. And this is a maybe a 3 or a 4 out of 10 on, on quality and installation. What we're seeing here is closed cell, medium density foam sprayed to the underside of a three season room. So this is a deck that's coming out from the home. Right now they've got you know junk and personal uh, belongings underneath. You can see the foundation of the house on the left hand side. So the deck is out, um, supported on piles and, and what have you. So then the spray foam has been placed underneath to try and give some warmth to the floor. The homeowners tracked us down. We were working in a local area and they saw our truck and trailer and said, would you come take a look at this? We're having issues with it. The issues that they are encountering is just cold spots. And the reason being is that the foam varies from uh, three inches and sometimes four all the way down to an inch or even less in some of the corners. Now, what we're seeing here, uh, what makes this a very poor job, not a terrible job, I just noticed the amount of overspray. They've got spray all over the sides of the joist, the facing of the joist. Now, you could sit there and say that's no big deal. Uh, they never planned to, to close this in with paneling, but it sure looks ratty and it doesn't look presentable. And then if you do want to put some sort of tin or, or paneling up, you can't. you got to scrape it. Also, just the inconsistency. You can see how much the foam is coming up the sides of the joists. It's not picture framed out very well, not detailed out towards the edges. The reason that everything is orange is that it has faded whatever the original color of the spray foam was. It's faded in the uh, sunlight. Now, you don't get an awful lot of ultraviolet underneath a deck, so you don't really need to worry about it too, too much as far as uh, degrading the foam and making the foam uh, weaker. But it is going to turn it this orange color, uh, similar to what the space shuttle uh, liquid oxygen tank was. So what, what are we seeing that we really don't like here? Well, they should have gone and picture framed things out. They should have gone and taped the stud face, or at very le least uh, gone and scraped the stud face. They should have gone and made sure that they were getting a full uh, two inch or three inch into the corners, uh, being that they've got you know, upwards of four inches in some spots and nothing in others. That's what's creating the uh, incidental cold spots. Uh, the foam appears to be well adhered. Uh, it's on ratio from what we can tell and we gave it a quick pull check with our device to see if it was Disbonded in any areas and it was not it was holding up fairly well Although we could get one area to pop off with a little bit of effort But that's that's neither here nor there if it passes the pull test initially in the cutter We're good to go. So what's going to be done about something like this? Well, they are still having cold spots on the floor intermittently So what we're going to do is we're going to come in we're going to spray another inch inch and a half of closed cell foam like we'll spray more where need be right where it's down to an inch or less we'll spray obviously a lot more but we'll bring the whole job up a level of foam average it out maybe an inch and a half do a bit of a scrape job clean underneath there uh, just to get the bulk of the overspray off uh, the facing so it looks a little bit more presentable and then there's a couple of areas where ganged together uh, joists are, where they put two or more or three joists together. When you see that, either put a, a skiff of spray foam over it or do caulking if you're going to be putting some paneling. Uh, if nobody's ever going to be looking at it, you can skip it with the foam. And the reason being is that you don't want the air to be going through those doubles or those triples and, and creating a cold spot or a condensation spot on the floor uh, above. So. Not what I would call terrible, but certainly not very good. This is pretty typical of tier three installers that you'll see. This is probably what I like to call the lowest bidder. Uh, people didn't really know what they were getting. Now, as bad as this is, as bad as it is, it's still performing, right? It's still more or less doing its job. It's not dripping water all over somebody's head. It hasn't fallen off the underside of the floor. It's just not consistent enough to give them really good results in the most extreme days. And we're gonna fix that up and we're going to uh, get it dealt with. If you are receiving closed cell spray foam and you've got some guys hired and they're coming, get them to get clear on where you want your foam and where not, you know, where your average is gonna be on thickness. You know, overhead jobs are tough. You know, the gun's always plugging up and getting overspray on it. They have to be diligent to clear it off. 
and you know they're getting foam on their mask and everything so it's no fun we've all been in situations where you can't see it's hot you're laying on your back you're doing the best you can so i'm not going to ra rag on anybody too too hard this job is at the more extreme end of things where it's like clearly they're not really skilled at what they're putting foam on the gun's fingering they're getting a lot of build up out towards the edges and not getting foam into the corners and the edges so be clear with your spray foam guy as to what you want to get and if they've made a huge mess you got to get somebody to come in there you got to have them clean the thing up before you're going to settle up and pay the bill right or all of it so this is just something to look for and what to recognize we'll keep you updated when we put a little bit of spray foam over top of it maybe we'll do a follow-up video on it see how it goes and uh, keeping you educated on what to look for with poor and horrible spray foam jobs at times okay click like share and subscribe leave a comment and we'll catch you on another video soon